Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I was honestly just sitting around doing my makeup and I decided, you know what? What if I do my face makeup on camera using the things that are in my project pans? So that is what we're going to be doing today for today's video. I did not include my eyes in this video only because the palette that I am panning is limited edition and I just... I don't want to bring that kind of stuff on the channel and the only reason why I really don't want to do it is because other people don't do it and why would I show something that you can't get and you don't have so I don't want to be doing too much looks with it because it's old I'm talking too much so basically we're just gonna be doing the rest of my face with things that are in my project pen so if this is something that you're interested in seeing then just keep on watching if you are new here I just want to say hi my name is Victoria and I really hope you stay for a while and if you happen to like this video give it a thumbs up and if you happen to like me thank you can see me popping up on your news feed from time and time again then click that subscribe button and a notification bell so YouTube can notify you every single time I upload and now let's get on with the face makeup so the first thing I'm gonna start off with is this ABH clear brow gel this is in my 19 and 2019 project pen most of the items is probably going to be in my 19 and 2019 project pen if they're not I will inform you but I'm just going to brush this through my brows because I forgot. The next thing I'm going to go in with is this L'Oreal True Match Lumi Lotion. I have been using this lotion a lot and it's still so much product left. I honestly love this and this is also in my 19 and 2019 project pen. I honestly do not use this as a primer. I really just use it as a moisturizer and then I go in with a primer after. I know some people use it as a primer. I just don't. So now the next item I'm going to be going in with is the Maybelline Baby Skin Primer. I'm just taking a little bit of this putting it around my nose and the areas that I have pores and this is also in my 19 and 2019 project pen and I just really want to pack that baby I am going to go in with another primer for the rest of my face and it is the hourglass veal primer and this is actually in my roulette project pen which I've been totally forgetting about this project pen and I haven't updated you guys in two months. It's a little bit crazy because this project pan only lasts four months. And I just only updated you once, I think. For foundation, I'm going to go in with the Urban Decay One and Done. This is in my 19 and 2019 project pan. And honestly, I'm really, really enjoying it. I think when I'm off my no buy and I finish it, I will definitely repurchase. You ever blend out your foundation and your arm hurt because you sit in there bouncing on your face so damn much? Now I am going to go in with one more layer just around here because your girl is kind of breaking out. And that pimple right there named Bobby, he gotta go. For concealer, I am going to go in with the Tarte Creaseless Concealer. This is in my 19 and 2019 project pen. And honestly, I think I've been making some great progress on it. So, like always, I'm just going to put some in the back of my hand because I do have the old bottle. I don't have how it looks now. This is how it looks. But I'm going to put some in the back of my hand. I don't want to put too much. And I'm going to put it everywhere that I decide I'm going to put concealer today. Because I don't want to waste the rest of the concealer. I guess I'll just pack it on. I am going to go and blend it out. Now I don't have any loose powders in my project pans. But I am going to go in with the Cilanti London Mini Powder. It's so small so I literally just pour it on the sponge. And then set. And the only reason why I'm using this is because every single week I try to... Put some samples aside so I could get more use of my samples and this was one that I put aside so I'm literally just placing that everywhere I put the concealer now I am going to take some of this essence brighten up powder this is in my 19 and 2019 I'm just gonna pack it in the places with the concealer as well and to be a hundred percent honest with you I'm not sure if I see 
any difference using this product. To set the rest of my face, I am going to go in with the Becca B A Light Palette. And I'm just going to go in with the brightening powder and the blurring powder. Set the rest of my face. I said many times that I don't feel it does anything for my skin. But we gonna use it. For bronzer, I'm going to go in with this Tarte Park Avenue Princess Bronzer. This is what it looks like. And I like to start off with a smaller brush so I could really work it in there. For blush, I'm going to go in with this Tarte blush in the shade Feisty. And this is in my 19 and 2019. I don't know why I keep on saying it, but I do. For highlighter, I'm going to go in with the Fenty Beauty Highlighter. This is Fire Crystal and Lightning Dust. And I'm just focusing on Fire Crystal. So now for lips, I'm going to go in with the Lip Exfoliator. Now, I was sick. I did have a cold. And you know when you get sick, your lips be getting all crusty. And unfortunately, my lips have not recovered yet. So we need to scrub these babies. So I just basically put it on my lips, scrub, and wipe away. Now I'm going to go in with the Wet n Wild Bare to Comment Lip Liner. Honestly, I have not reached for this as much as I should. I don't line my lips that much, and when I do, they still come out crooked. So I'm just going to use it for the video. So now I'm going to go in with the ColourPop What's Your Sign Lipstick. I I think this is in my 19 in 2019. I, I believe it is because there's no way I could finish this in my 7 by spring. The last thing I'm going to be using is the Cover FX Setting Spray. This is in my 7 by spring and I'm going to just give it a little shake and spray my face. And of course while my face is still wet I'm going to go back in with highlighter to really make it pop. So that is it. That is all I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed watching me do my face makeup with things that are in my project pen. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe on your way out. And I just want to say thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoy the rest of your day. Stay blessed. And I hope to see you in my next one. Bye.